Hi everyone, it's Heather back. I just thought I would do a quick video. Um, I just finished my fourth day in one of the area hospitals and I'm still sitting in my car. Just literally came out the door and got in my car and thought um, this would be a good time to go ahead and do a video because I seem to be forgetting at other times. So um, anyway, um, it has been really great. I have learned a ton. I am really happy with... Um, the hospitals that I've been at so far, I've been to two. I've done three days at one hospital and one day at another. And I go, my next day is Wednesday. Today is Sunday. Um, and that's at the hospital I've done one day at so far. And then after that, I go to a different hospital, but I still have some precept days at this one that I'm at today. Um, but I just want to give a little bit of information for people who are kind of thinking about respiratory school or are um, have not yet started clinicals, just some information about things that I have done at clinicals. So I have my notebook that I showed on here before. It's already looking really battered. Um, but I keep this in my pocket and I make lists for myself about stuff that I have done. Um, so like on this, I had a high flow nasal cannula that I set up. Um, I changed a suction tube system out. Um, I did an ABG on a left radial, um, an ABG on a left brachial, an ABG on a right radial. So, um, so let's see. So far I have done dozens of small volume nebulizer treatments. So like the one that everyone knows of where you either have the little mouthpiece or the mask and you get a nebulizer treatment. Um, dozens of those. Uh, I don't know how many. Um, I have totally used my um, personal pulse ox. It's in my pocket somewhere that I bought. Um, my little pulse ox that, that I got off of Amazon for like $25. Um, I keep that in my pocket and I absolutely use it. Our clinical director had said that he didn't think it was worth having, that we wouldn't really use it because the hospitals always always have them. They do. The hospital absolutely has them. They have portable ones that you can take, but you know, they're this big and I have this little thing that fits in my pocket and is much easier for me to just pull out and pop on a patient's finger. Um, have to clean it in between each one, of course, but um, so that has been really useful. Um, cause in my clinical group, the other people who were in there didn't have one. So we just passed that mine around, which was fine. Um, but I would, I would say it's helpful to have your own. Um, it may depend on what floors you're on. If you're in ICU and everyone's on a monitor, you're not going to need one because all that information is already on the monitor. Um, but a lot of the work that I'm doing, um, and I think that most first semester clinical students do is on the floors, um, where a lot of people are not on monitors. So let's see, we've done a lot of, um, nebulizer treatments. I have done, um, I have set up now two, um, inline aerogen. So inline nebulizers where it's someone who's on a vent and it's, it's so that you can give them their nebulizer treatment without, it just goes straight into their ET tube. Um, so I've done some of those. Let's see what else have I done. I have a lot of notes that I have taken, um, things that I have learned. Just um, like this says, if, if peak pressures go up, someone's on a vent, you know, check to see if they need suction. Just little things that I've I've written to myself. Um, pressure support is IPAP minus EPAP, you know, things like that. So this notebook is totally invaluable to me. Um, that's more notes that I've made for myself. Neopuff, things like that. Um, I've done seven ABGs so far. There was one um, where I tried to get a radial and wasn't able to get it and ended up getting a brachial. Um, I can't remember why. Oh, the second brachial that I did was the same patient. It was just a different day. Um, I saw her and she needed another ABG that day. And since we had, we already knew that a radial didn't work very well with her the first time, went ahead and did a brachial. Um, I've helped now to assist in setting up a couple of ventilators and look to see what all of those settings on the ventilators mean. And that's what a lot of my notes in my little book are about, are about ventilator settings and um, just things that I maybe don't know yet because it's not stuff we've learned, but um, I figure 
it's stuff that I'm going to be needing to know. And so I'm just making notes to myself. Um, I've set up inline section. Um, I had my, f I went to my first code and, and performed chest compressions on that patient, um, up on the bed and everything, you know, just like in, you learn how to do in your, um, in your life support class actually did it and remembered how to do it. Um, so I've bagged several patients now. I've now done chest compressions on one patient. Um, and today assisted, um, more observed, but you know, um, doing an intubation on a patient in ICU, um, and then helped, you know, observed, set up the ventilator for that patient. Um, all in all, it has been a really great experience so far. I have been really thrilled with everything that I've gotten to learn, and my instructors have been really great. Um, my clinical group, we've actually only had one official clinical day. Uh, the other three days I've done have been precept days where I've just been, you know, myself and my preceptor. So I've only had one day with my clinical group, but um, that was really interesting too. The clinical days, we have more time. Um, because our clinical instructor isn't given a regular assignment with as many patients as they would normally have because the idea is that they have time to teach us other things and show us other things. Um, whereas the precept days tend to be busier because the person that you're precepting with, it's their, just their regular schedule and you're just along for the ride. So um, that those days have been much busier than the clinical day that I had was. Um, the next day I'm in the hospital is a clinical day, not a precept day. Um, but... This is February, and um, my month is super busy. I have a lot of precept days and, and a lot of clinical days going forward for the rest of this month. So I'm going to be really busy this month. All in all, school itself, um, classes are going fine. There hasn't been anything particularly difficult yet. Um, we're doing bronchial hygiene stuff, so learning about coughing techniques and... Um, just forced expiratory things in general to get secretions up. Oh, percussion. I have done um, chest PT, um, put a, they call it a vest. It's just a chest band thing. I've put that on, um, helped to put that on two patients and get them going on their chest PT. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's been really good. And I hope everyone else who is in clinicals for the first time this semester is having an equally interesting time and learning a whole lot. And I would love to hear what some things other people have done so far. Um, I don't feel like I've done anything too stupid. <laughs> That's always, you know, a little bit of a fear. But you know what? You have to assume that at some point you're going to make a really, really stupid mistake. I mean, I've made mistakes here and there. I've done dumb things, but nothing really big. Um, so I'm sure at some point I will make some really big, stupid mistake and you know, yeah, everyone does it. You, you laugh and you move on. What can you do? Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to the rest of this semester and the rest of my clinical time and, um, looking forward to seeing some other hospitals too, to see what the differences are. Um, so far the two hospitals that I've been to, one is the level one trauma center and one is the level two trauma center, but um, the level two trauma center, I've actually seen more varied things because that's where I've done my precepting. Um, and so I've done three days at the level two and only one day at the level one. Um, so I don't know if I will see, you know, anything more interesting the next time I go, um, for my clinical day over at the level one facility, but, um, it's been really great. I know I've said that about five times now, but it's, it, it really has. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I've, my hair, I'm just trying to figure out what to do with it. So far, all I've been doing is my normal single braid that I do whenever I want to get it out of my way. Um, I tried putting it up in a bun one time and it was just like this huge, heavy ball on the back of my head that I didn't like. So I haven't done it again. Um, still trying to figure that out, but um, it's starting to get really dark, so I'm going to go, but I hope that, uh, everyone who's having their first semester of clinicals is doing really well and learning a ton, and I will see you next time.